Hi, and welcome to the Be Mom Strong training membership. I'm your host, Alyssa Blaze, and today we're going to learn how to give some much needed relief to the muscles in behind the head and the neck here. So you'll need a, a yoga block or a book and grab yourself your yoga tuna balls. If you don't have yoga tuna balls, you could also use um, some tennis balls in a, 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 a sock, uh, but they don't quite work just as well. Okay, so you're gonna come onto your back. You're gonna lay your head on the block with the balls underneath your head. Okay, so I want you to put the balls where your head and your neck meet. Okay, and then your just gaze is gonna be straight up in the air. So it should feel sort of like the, the balls are sitting right in the place that they're meant to. Right at your occipital muscles. And just let the weight of your skull just soften and press into your head. So you can start to nod your head up and down. Nodding just gently, feeling the balls just moving along the contours there. You can say, yes, I love this. Yes to relaxation. Yes to more self-love. Yes to feeling good in your body. And you can nod your head no. So no to pain, no to any suffering. No to any negativity that you either have about your body or yourself. And just feeling those balls push into the side. And my absolute favorite is draw the infinity symbol with your nose on the ceiling. So you're going to move your nose like you're drawing that figure of eight symbol infinity symbol and you'll probably feel like you're getting really relaxed so we massage anywhere along the spine or the head or the neck it tends to um, create this overall sense of peace and calm in our bodies which is so nice all right I want to just do one more here so you're going to turn your head to the right and now place the ball that's on the left side in the middle of your head and the ball that's on the right side just off to the side. And again, let the weight of your skull relax into the floor. You can close your eyes. You can nod your head, yes or no. You can even just start to push the right ball and sweep your head and really get a little bit of traction there. If you're someone that loves to get a haircut and you really only go so you can get your head and neck massage, then you are going to love this. This is also a really great um, technique to use to unwind from your day. So doing this before you go to bed at night. Okay, so let's switch sides. We're gonna place the uh, right ball in between in the center of your head and the left ball just off to the side. Look to the left slightly. Just letting the weight of your skull press down. So it can be really helpful to do before bed because it relaxes your body and is a nice segue into falling asleep. So if you're suffering any sort of tension or if you have insomnia or have troubles falling back asleep at night, sometimes just a quick little neck rub down. Yes and no, side to side, can be all that you need for deep relaxation. And then go ahead, come off the ball, come off the block, put your head on the ground. Rest your arms out to the side. And then just take a moment to let that all sink in and feel. Letting the new blood flow nourish all of your cells and release any tension, moving it out. And that was your short self-massage for your neck. Bye for now.